Hello, it's Thursday, July the 13th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from UFX Markets. The dollar fell against most of the major currencies due to the FOMC meeting minutes, in which members pointed out that if economic growth becomes too slow, more stimulus would be needed. Stock markets closed negative for the third day as the Dow fell by 0.47% and the Nasdaq lost 0.74%. Crude climbed the most in two weeks by 1.70%, closing at $96.60 a barrel. Gold may continue to gain as debt concerns in Europe and the US spur demand for the metal as a refuge. Today, the federal budget balance is expected to show minus $68 billion versus minus $57.6 billion previously. The euro strengthened a little from a seven-week low against the US dollar after Italian PM Berlusconi called for acceptance of the austerity program and emphasized that his government will run a primary budget surplus this year. Trading below resistance at 140.20 will keep the momentum negative for the pair. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 138.36 and a high of 144.65. Today, industrial production is expected to grow by 0.50% versus 0.20% previously. The pound strengthened against the greenback after testing support at 157.70 and despite lower CPI coming out weaker than expected. The trend for the pair will be remain bearish if it maintains resistance at 160. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 157.78 and a high of 160.77. Today, the claimant count change is expected to grow by 15.1 thousand versus 19.6 thousand previously and the average earnings index by 2% versus 1.80% previously. The dollar fell against the yen as the Federal Reserve's policymakers disagreed on whether additional monetary stimulus will be necessary to support economic growth. If the pair maintains its support at 80, it may bring the pair back to 79.10. Today, the Bank of Japan is expected to release its monthly report. The Canadian dollar strengthened against its US counterpart as stocks and commodities such as crude oil advanced on speculation that debt concerns in Europe may ease, making higher yielding currencies more attractive. The trend for the pair is still bearish. No economic data is expected today. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Markets for all your online trading needs.